Now we are going to discuss very very important phenomena mutar rotation. But to understand this mutar mutar rotation or its mechanism, you must know how to draw its Havert structure. Here I have taken the example of glucose, and you just watch this video very carefully to understand mutar rotation. So to understand mutar rotation, you must able to draw Havert formula or the carbohydrate into Havert formula and another important thing is the meaning of specific rotation you know uh, I will not go into that detail uh, for the specific rotation but you should know at least the meaning of rotation rotation of plane of polarized light so if the compound is optically active it can rotate plane of plane polarized light either toward right hand side or toward left hand side in certain angle and from that we can calculate specific rotation. So since glucose is having four chiral carbons, it is optically active and it can rotate that plane of plane polarized light. That means it has certain value of specific rotation. So that much information is sufficient. Uh, now see, if glucose we crystallize by different conditions, I mean by applying different conditions and different solvent, we can separate these two anomers alpha d glucose and beta d glucose we can isolate and if you measure the specific rotation of alpha d glucose that you observe that it, this alpha d glucose can rotate the plane of plane polarized light through certain angle that is 112 degree and it is calculated this is specific rotation and again the specific rotation of beta d glucose after isolation uh, you can find it is plus 19 degree but when alpha or beta you can take it separately prepare its aqueous solution and then try to measure the specific rotation what will happen its specific rotation going to change from 112 to it is actually decreasing for alpha and going to remain there constant uh, when it reaches to plus 52.7 degree and when these a uh, compound we isolate beta d glucose and if you keep it in uh, aqueous solution and if you find the rotation that changes that you observe initially it is 19 degree plus but very soon it is going to increase up to 52.7 and remain constant so this is the meaning of actually the change in specific rotation the change in specific rotation when any one of the anomers is kept in solution that is called mutar rotation now we must able to explain what chemistry is there what is behind this change in specific rotation that is given here in this mechanism so what happened when any one of these two isomer anomers are isolated i mean uh, is isolated and we keep in solution what happens very soon it is converted to the beta glucose through a acyclic aldehyde so alpha d is converted to the acyclic aldehyde that is open chain structure and it is then converted to the cyclic structure that is another anomer beta d glucose or when we isolate beta d and prepare its solution very soon it is converted to alpha d glucose through acyclic aldehyde even i have given the per, uh, percentage so as if this three uh, three forms of the glucose open chain and cyclic form of glucose are in equilibrium they are always in equilibrium in solution that means in that solution beta d having 63 percent and alpha d proportion is 37 percent and acyclic aldehyde in very in very minute amount that is trace amount now you can see one more you can uh, if you have seen my previous video which was on chair conformation i had mentioned in that video that the beta d glucose is more stable because all barrier groups are at equilibrium uh, uh, are at equilibrium uh, i mean uh, are not at axial position they are at equilibrium position because uh, because of that they get sufficient room and it is they provide stability 
So beta D glucose is more stable as compared to alpha D glucose that we can explain by using its chair conformation. Even instead of using this Haworth formula, you can use chair conformation for this mechanism. That, that doesn't matter. Only thing is when you prepare the solution of any one of these three forms, very soon they convert into each other. I mean, they are at equilibrium. That means three forms are at equilibrium. And because of that, once that equilibrium is attained, that equilibrium having specific rotation 52.7. It is not this value, it is not this value. Both values are going to change into 52.7. This is called meteor rotation. And this is, this is the property, very good property actually shown by the carbohydrates. Thank you.